What's going on everybody? Boy, have I got a home tour for you guys today. I've got a 3,000 square feet, single story, open concept floor plan that even has an option for you to build an in-law suite. This is gonna be a very nice home tour. We got a 15 foot island here, guys, 15 foot. I can't wait to show you guys this home here. So we're over here in Homosassa, Florida, which is right around that Brooksville area. You can build this floor plan for uh, basically the upper 400s. So you can get some really good, nice lot sizes as well too. A very nice living out here in my opinion up and coming area lots of development so i think this is going to be a good option for you guys so i'm going to take you guys around show you this model and some of the options that were selected here and we'll basically just you know kind of talk about what to expect over here so anyways without further ado we'll meet at the front and we'll get our tour started oh by the way don't forget like the video subscribe and reach out to my team if you guys are interested but anyways let's meet at the front all right, so one thing I like about this model home here, I love this curved driveway here. Right? But yeah, nice long driveway. You can fit quite a few cars here. I even like how they have this little paver section built out there for extra parking. But yeah, you'll notice three car garage standard in this uh, model here. This one has very nice curb appeal as well too. I love uh, the front elevation is as well too we have a nice front porch and we've got some folks out here hanging out so they might be waiting for the market to turn i don't know yeah but anyways i love how this porch section on both sides of the front door here right right and then we've got a nice eight feet door basically as we make our entrance here and we got a frosted glass door here so now let's get in here you guys are gonna love this Now, as soon as you enter this home, you're just greeted with just a huge open space and presence. You just automatically f know and feel how big this home is. We've got nice tray ceilings right at the front foyer over here. We've got your formal dining over here, and this has the tray ceiling as well. Very good size formal dining in my opinion. This is perfect for you guys to, you know, host your Thanksgiving uh dinners and parties or whatnot and yeah just wait till you guys see that kitchen now on the opposite side of the foyer here, this is the living room section right you can maybe use this as a, a den space or maybe a game room space or honestly or maybe even a home office so it's flexible options to use this space here let me know what you guys would use it for and we've also got the tray ceilings over here so now let's make our way back out here and now into our main living space where do i start all right let's point this out the tray ceilings here look how crazy this tray is right this is a huge tray that goes around this entire space it puts the ceiling here to about 11 feet right the regular ceiling is about nine feet four and then check out this island this is a 15 foot island massive probably one of the longest islands that i've ever toured on the channel here so let me know what you guys think about this actually some of the other floor plans that they have over here have about 12 feet islands so definitely a good option with the island size in my opinion but look how open this is right definitely would love you guys' thoughts on this we could probably even add in more pendants here because it's just so much countertop space there's also a very good space between the island and the counter back here. This kitchen has the gourmet kitchen upgrade. We've got nice shaker style cabinets with the crown molding, right? So very nice in my opinion. I, we've had the cabinets over the fridge. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this space here. We've got a breakfast eating area over here. We've got another sitting area over here another living room. honestly there's so much space over here you can have two tvs over here but but yeah i know 
open concept is a very popular option. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the most open conceptness of floor plans that I've seen, if that's even a word. But yeah, gotta love it. I love how the tray basically just goes around this entire space. Very nice, very nice. So anyways, let's move on to the backyard here. Now we've got a nice covered lanai. You guys can kind of get an idea of the yard space over here. Now the homes here, you, you will have to build from dirt, right? The yard do have some quick movings that'll be finishing pretty soon, but for the most part, you will be building from dirt. You're looking about, about like an eight to, eight to 10 month build time over here. So, but yeah, you will get about like 0.2 acre, just, a, yeah, just almost, you're not quite half acre, but you'll be right around there. So very good lot size. All right, so now we're back in this huge space. Now we'll make our way down this corner here where we've got some bedrooms and the primary suite, which is actually right over here. Let me just go ahead and show you guys this. I love how deep the tray here as well too adds the definition to that ceiling, 11 feet basically in that space. Pretty decent size primary. This, um, this model here has the option for what they call the deluxe bath, which gives you a little bit bigger of a bathroom and it takes away some of the space from the primary suite there. But I kind of like the deluxe bath option here because it gives you this nice shower that you guys are going to see there. Not so much to care for the tub, but but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this primary bathroom over here. We've got raised vanities, the nice little sitting area for the makeup stuff. And then a really good size shower here. We've got three shower heads. We've got one here, the rain head, and then a wand over there for the bench. This makes sense, right? So love it. Very good bathroom design. It has everything you would need, honestly. Shower here, rain head, and the wand over there. And we got a frameless glass door enclosure. Very nice. Now behind me here is your primary closet. Not as big as that other home that I showed with that in-law suite, right? That was a huge closet, couldn't believe it. But yeah, this is still pretty good in my opinion for a primary, so all right. Now let's make our way back out of the primary and check out some of the other bedrooms and stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys the in-law suite that's on the other side of the home as well too. Now here is the other full bathroom. So this will probably be the bathroom most of your guests will use when you're entertaining. And this is also the bathroom that this bedroom here will use. I'll show you that in a bit. We've got your laundry right here. Very good size laundry room in my opinion, right? And I love the fact that it's actually right across from the primary suite. We've got a nice storage closet here. You can probably store like your, you know, your cleaning supplies, vacuums, brooms, stuff like that over there. And honestly, you can probably even make this room into a doggy room if you wanted to, but laundry, primary right there, living, everything right there makes sense, right? Anyways, moving on. Before we hit that bedroom, there's actually linen storage here. But then we've got this other bedroom here and this bedroom has a walk-in closet over here, all right? So pretty decent space in the bedroom. We've got nine feet, four inch ceilings here, no tray. But now let's make our way back to the other side of the house where that in-law suite is. So, but man, I still can't get over how open this living space is. Let me know what you guys think for real about this space here. Is this too small? Is this too big? Oh, by the way, if this is too big, they do have a similar floor plan to this that has similar features, just a little bit smaller. It's about 2,000 square feet versus the 3,000 here. So keep that in mind. It's if this you, you like this, but maybe this is just too much, there's another option for you as well. Wow, I totally forgot to show you guys the pantry. But here's your pantry. I know that's an important concept, but yeah, this is a deep pantry as well. So yeah, no issues here in terms of storage or space. 
All right, so now down here, we're pretty sure this, this is your garage access. Three car garage, like I said, is standard, very nice. Now standard, this section here would actually be another full bathroom and two bedrooms. However, they have it converted here with the in-law suite option where it basically combines the two bedrooms into one suite that you guys are gonna see over here. So I'll show you that. Got the air handler over here. But yeah, so now see the fact that you have these doors kind of separating the entire space, right? From the, everyone that's sitting here. So these folks can have their own privacy. So maybe you got a parent or a grandparent, or maybe you got a, a a young adult couple staying with you and you want to give them their own space, this would be perfect. So linen storage over here, full bathroom, right? Full stand-up shower here as well. Full-blown suite and then as we make our way over here, the other one that I showed did not have this sink and bar top option here. This one has this as well too. So this, they're obviously using this as a sales office right now, but this would be like the living room of that suite. And then through there would be the bedroom, but very nice concept here. Hope you guys can use your imagination here. So, oh, and this is kind of just to show you a little bit of the area and stuff that we're at over here. We're in the Sugar Mill Woods area, right next to Brooksville, where kind of like the main restaurants and all that stuff are around. But yeah, you got all your springs and everything around here. Uh, the Wikiwachi Springs is over nine springs and rivers and stuff like that. So, and there's a lot of development happening in this area. So very nice in my opinion, but yeah, I know you guys mainly want to see the home here. If you guys are interested, definitely reach out to me. We'll go over more of this stuff. But yeah, over here would be the bedroom of this in-law suite, right? So standard, it would be two bedrooms here and a full bath right if that's something you wanted or you can convert those into what you see here right very good size closet space that in-law suite would have good bedroom space and by the way these are some of the design options that are available for you so all your cabinet options all the granite or these are all quartz options all your tiling options and flooring options we even got some nice stone work to choose from right so you can definitely build yourself your dream home that you're looking for. So I know a lot of you folks that are moving from up north and you got a large family come with you. Maybe you don't want a two-story home. You want something single story, but you like how two-story kind of gives you two separate living spaces. This floor plan, honestly, will check those boxes for you. So, and in this area here, you'll actually be below 500,000, which is honestly rare considering the size of this home and what it has to offer. I know this over in Orlando side, honestly, you might be pay, paying close to $800,000 for this. So I think it's a pretty good deal out here, especially if you, um, you're you okay with the rural area, right? This is very nice, honestly. And honestly, there's a lot of development happening here. They have very good school zones as well too. And the Tampa airport is only about an hour away, right? So if you do traveling quite a bit and you, you're worried about you know being too far away from the airport and stuff like that, honestly, you're not that bad over here. So. Very good option in my opinion. So I would love to know what you guys think about this home, the floor plan, all the options you saw here. Let me know what you think about this 50 foot island. This is probably a dream island. Also, I love how they added the storage over here on the side of the island. They should do this in every, every house, right? This is a very nice touch. I love it. Look at the amount of seats that you can have here, right? But this is definitely one of my favorite single story floor plan so far because we've got an in-law suite nice open concept these huge ceilings huge island honestly i like this floor plan quite a bit i don't know if you guys can tell but anyways i've got to get going we've got more homes to tour more properties to tour more areas to do and more people to help so anyways thank you guys so much for watching these videos make sure you reach out to my team and i i hope you guys have a blessed day peace